Gai Con, translated from Vietnamese, literally means fresh spring rolls. These are not fried. These are very healthy, made from rice papers. If you want to know how to make this, then keep on watching. So let's start. First, we're going to make a peanut sauce. With spring rolls, we usually take either peanut sauce or sweet chili sauce. But today, I'm going to be making a peanut sauce. So first, in a small pan, add about one tablespoon of oil. Let it heat. So while our oil is heating, we will grate some garlic. So here I have a grater. I will just grate two cloves of garlic, or about a teaspoon of garlic. So our oil is heated, and I will add in about one teaspoon of our grated garlic. And now you want to saute it until it is a little bit brown. So our garlic is sauted. To this, I will add about a tablespoon of our red chili flakes. And now you want to mix it very well. And now to this, I will add about a cup of water. Be careful guys because the oil is hot and we are adding water it is a little bit risky And now you want to mix it And here I'm adding 2 tablespoon of chunky peanut butter You can use the smooth one as well but I want some peanut chunks in there that's why I'm using the chunky one So I'm adding about 2 tablespoons And now you want to mix it Now to this I will add about 1/4 teaspoon of soy sauce. You want to mix it and you can see the color has darkened up a little bit. That's what you want. And now to this I will add about 1 tablespoon of jaggery powder. To this I will add a teaspoon of lemon juice. And now you want to cook this for about 5 minutes. If you feel like it is way too thin then add about 2 tablespoon of more peanut butter or if you think it is way too thick then add about 2 more tablespoon of more water. Now you want to mix it. See as you can see that the consistency is now really you know thick. You want to take it out in a bowl. So with the help of a spatula, rubber spatula, I'm going to take it out in a bowl. And now it's time to grill up paneer. So in a pan I will add about 8 teaspoon of oil and now I will let it heat up. And now to this I will add in a paneer. So I've cut the paneer into cuboids. You want to mix it up a little bit get the oil all coated and then you want to add about 8 teaspoon of soya sauce. So I'm using light soya sauce. You can use normal one as well. Now you want to cook this for about 2 to 3 minutes or until all the sides are golden brown. And now I will take this paneer out in a plate. And now it's time to assemble our dish. Before assembling, so here in a plate I have the paneer that I roasted, so cucumbers that I've cut it like this. You want it thin, you don't want it thick. Here I have ribbons of carrot so with the help of a peeler you can do this and some hand torn lettuce so for making this you will also need some chopped up mint coriander and spring onion and you will also need some rice vermicelli or thin noodles glass noodles this is the box i used so for this what you want to do in a bowl add hot water add the noodles in and then cover it and let it sit for like 10 minutes and it will be cooked very simple and now it's time to assemble so this is the rice paper that i'm using you can buy this on amazon or flipkart or in any you know asian stores so this is how it looks it is a little broken but that's fine 
there might be a few that are broken and now what you want to do just keep this aside and in a plate add a little bit of water as you know i told you in the beginning these are not fried so for working with rice paper what you want to do in a plate add water and then just dip the rice paper in so don't dip it for way too long just for like a second or two otherwise if you dip it for way too long it will get torn when you are going to roll it so just for 2 seconds i've dipped in water and now you want to add in your vegetables so first in like a horizontal line add your cucumbers add ribbons of carrots add hand torn lettuce there's no measurement to this add as much as you want and add in your roasted paneer while the time you put all of the vegetables and seasonings in the rice paper will get soft and you will be able to roll it to this i will add our rice vermicelli this was so long i was laughing so bad at this time so just add a little bit of our rice vermicelli and then sprinkle on our chopped up mint coriander and spring onion and if you want you can also add a little bit of salt and black pepper it's time to roll this so what you want to do first take the sides roll it like this and then from the bottom pick it up and do this this is self explanatory i don't know how to explain this and it worked this was my first time ever making this and i was so happy this is me very happy i was so excited that it worked you want to make two or three more of these same thing dip the rice paper put the vegetables the mint coriander spring onion and the rice vermicelli and then just roll it up and now it's time to plate so put two of our spring rolls like this and one on top and on the side i will add in our peanut sauce make sure before serving it just mix it up and don't let the spring roll set outside for like way too long 2 3 minutes is fine otherwise it will get hard and we don't want that this is looking so good and a guy gone with with an amis fresh spring rolls are ready this recipe is very healthy and very fresh as well if you like this recipe please subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notifications so that you get notified every time i post a new video or go live and follow me on pinterest facebook and instagram at trishita's kitchen thank you for watching this video